Now then, Brewtubers, it's uh, it's me again. Just going to show you a quick a quick way of, of how I um, bottle from the from the taps into plastic bottles. Um, most people will be familiar with carbonation caps. Um, you can get them in plastic or stainless steel. What you'd normally do, pop it in the bottle, screw it down, beer on, or gas on first, purge it, beer on, and uh, you'd regulate how, how much beer you've got in it by just releasing a bit of pressure. Um, wait till it foams up, out, cap on. That's one way of doing it. Now what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take it a little bit further. I'm gonna use one of these. It's uh, a tea piece, carbonation cap tea piece um, from Kegland. Screw it on there. Obviously, if you've got one, you need a second one. That one goes on there. I guess what it is yet. So that's that. And what we do now, as before, that goes in the bottle. But with the aid of a party tap, what you can do, put a cap party tap on the what would be the gas line, and what you can do then is you can put CO2 on the top, um, which will obviously fill from the bottle bottom. You can purge it by let, releasing the pressure through and regulate the pressure through the party tap, so you'll have a, a bottle full of CO2. So you purge all the oxygen out. Then we can put our beer line on, and we can same again use the party tap to regulate how much beer we want in our bottle. So perhaps a little bit easier, perhaps not. What we'll do, I'll have a go. I might have to move the camera so you get a bit better, better shot. A um, couple of little differences. What I'm going to do instead of having to open the kegerator and um, get a disconnect off one of my kegs, what I've got for these inter taps. A little, one of those little beauties, which turns it into a, a beer out disconnect. So we can take, take the normal spout off, screw on our disconnect. Now, it's, we've got a disconnect. What we can do now, a short bit of beer line jumper. That can go on the tap. The other one can go on the bottle. Then we can fill from the tap and regulate the pressure on the um, on the party tap. So um, let's have a go. I'll move the camera and then we'll all get set up and see uh, see if we can get this to work. See you in a minute. Wish me luck. Okay, so first thing we need to do is to purge the oxygen out of the bottle. So what I've got in here, I've got a spare line. And we can pop on the pop on the top. That's full that bottle up. We can purge the oxygen out by using the party tap. So now we've got a purge bottle full of CO2. Fantastic. Next thing we need to do, purge the uh, the beer line. Now we can do this, disconnect on. Okay, next, next thing to do is to pit, purge the, um, the oxygen and stuff out of the beer line, which we can do by putting another little party, another little carbonation cap and we can just draw some beer off into the uh, into the glass for drinking so bear with me right there we go that's got the the film crew their uh, their little treat got gas line I mean the beer line fully uh, full of beer we've got a purge Purge bottle. What we need to do now then is connect up the party tap, connect up the beer line, 
and then we can turn it on at the pump, at the tap I mean, and we can regulate the pressure through the party tap, so nice and gentle. I don't know if you can see that guys, it's sort of, just want to get a little bit higher. Fill in the bottle. The other issue that you may have, like I have, I've got quite a lot of bubbles in here at the moment. I'm getting quite a lot through this uh, through this tap. It doesn't overly matter because if I take my glass again, I can draw off the top section of the bottle if it's a bit too uh, a bit too gassy, and that'll then there you go. We're getting all the foam out now. And that'll just leave the beer in the bottle. Turn into a bit of a froth monster, this one. I think we need a flake with that. So, just get the beer a minute. What you can see, we've got a rock solid bottle full of beer. Now then folks, just thought I'd interrupt this video um, <clears throat> with a bit of an update. I was a little concerned with the amount of fobbing or uh, foaming we was getting in the bottles when I was filling them off the, directly off the tap. Um, so what I've done, I've just rigged up a little bit of beer line um, onto my keg. I'm gonna try bottling from the keg using the same method just to see, um, to see if it makes much difference. Um, so, One bottle, one filling thing. Right, let's purge it. Where's my little? There it is. So we just purge the uh, purge the oxygen out of the bottle. Sure, that's uh, that's that purged. On with the beer line straight from the keg. Um, this is three sixteenth pipe. It's probably about a couple of meters on it, I think. Just uh, use it, use it as a large jumper. Right, so where we go. Let's see how we get on with this. So there's our bottle. Nice and gently. We're getting no um getting no um bubbles through the actual gas line this time. Um and obviously it's as fast as you squeeze this uh this party tap. Um as you say it's a lot better this time. I'm going to give it a big squeeze, see what happens. There we go. Equalize that pressure out. A little bit more, perhaps. Should be enough. Oh, I think we're full as an egg. Right. Cap. Sanitizer. Got a cap ready. Off with the beer. Left a bit of pressure. Right. There we go. Out with the pipe, on with the cap. A lot better this time. So, 
whether it's my tap or the pipe that leads up to the tap, whatever, it does work a lot better if it came straight off the keg with that skinny pipe. There you go, that's the update for today. <laughs> Cheers. The other good benefit of these uh, tea pieces, if you put them on a pot bottle, um, then you can also finally set it up for line cleaning, um, which I find quite useful. I think to summarise on this, um, I may try going directly from the keg, I may try just the carb cap, but um, either way, it's all a bit of a journey. And all these pieces that we're using, just to just to use this sort of method, they're all there for, for other reasons. It's not, I haven't had to buy them especially to do this. So um, yeah, your mileage may vary. Have a go, experiment, see what you find out. Let me know if you've got a better way of doing it. Fantastic, see you all later. Yeah, treat for the video crew. California Common, look at that, nice and clear. Have a beer. Cheers.